The most famous types of dogs in the world. American and English Bulldog Generally bulldogs are known to get along well with children and other dogs and pets, as they can become too attached to the home and family. To venture out of the yard without a human companion, and are also more likely to sleep on someone's lap rather than chasing a ball around the yard, and the bulldog is a spontaneous and adventurous dog, and even some of them prefer to ski. Breeders have tried to reduce and remove aggression from these dogs. They also have a friendly and patient nature. Bulldogs are considered excellent pet and family dogs because of their tendency to form strong bonds with children. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinscher dogs are known as intelligent, alert, loyal companions and are used to guarding where the personality varies a lot between Doberman dogs, but if properly cared for and trained they tend to be loving and loyal companions. Dobermans are impulsive, strong and sometimes stubborn and require commitment and care. But if they are trained well they can be wonderful family dogs unlike some breeds, and with a consistent approach they can be easy to train and they will learn very quickly as with all dogs. Dobermans can also be excellent with children if trained properly. Dobermans adapt quickly, although they do take cues from their owner, and this breed loves and appreciates attention, and it is also common for some trainers to cut their tails off for appearance, and not it is a dog's weak point, so it becomes easy to hold its tail by a person or another dog, and as it is known to all dogs that they move their tail when they are happy, this can cause pain to the owner because of the length and lift of his tail. Basset Dog They are friendly, playful and tolerant of children and other pets. Basset hounds have large, drooping ears, known as leathers, that do not allow air to flow inside them like other breeds with erect or more open ears, and this can lead to ear infections if not their ears are kept clean and dry and if their ears are allowed to hang on the ground or in food on a daily basis, they can develop chronic and possibly fatal diseases. Cost Great Dane The Great Dane's large, stately appearance contrasts with his friendly nature and they are known to seek physical affection with their owners the breed is often referred to as the gentle giant dane and generally does not appear overly aggressive the great dane is a very gentle and affectionate animal and with proper care and training will be great with children especially when raised with them however if not properly socialized a great dane may become fearful or aggressive towards new stimuli such as strangers and new environments this breed is Recommended for families provided they have been trained early and dog experts consider the Great Dane to be one of the largest dogs in the world. Cocker Spaniel Cocker Spaniels were originally bred as hunting dogs in the United Kingdom, the term Cocker derived from their use to hunt Eurasian Rex, and when the breed was brought to the United States they were bred to a different standard that enabled them to specialize in hunting. American Woodcocks the United States during the early part of the 20th century, common problems among the breeds include ear infections and a variety of eye problems. Dachshund Dachshunds are playful but can be quite stubborn dogs. Dachshunds are known for their tendency to chase small animals, birds and tennis balls with a large and ferocious design. Many dachshunds are stubborn which makes them a challenge to train, and dachshunds are burrowers by nature and are more likely to burrow in blankets and other areas around home when bored or tired dachshunds can be difficult to penetrate and patience is often needed as many dachshunds do not like unfamiliar people and many will growl or bark at them some of them are lazy and if dogs are raised incorrectly and are not socialized at an early age dachshunds can become aggressive or fearful as they need an owner who nurtures and loves them and understands their need for entertainment and exercise this breed is distinguished by its beautiful and small appearance and loved by humans. Rottweiler The Rottweiler is a strong breed and its herding and guarding qualities are genetically, and usually the potentially dangerous behavior in the Rottweiler results from abuse, neglect or lack. However, the exceptional strength of the Rottweiler is an additional risk factor that should not be neglected and for this reason breed experts declare formal training and intense social communication are essential for all Rottweilers. A 2008 study of breed club members survey found that while Rottweilers were average in aggressiveness, bites or attempts to bite, toward owners, and other dogs that indicated that they tend to be more aggressive than average towards strangers. This aggression appears to be linked to genetics and regional instincts. Husky, Siberian, Malamute. 
Huskies are known to howl rather than bark and have been described as escape artists which can include digging under or jumping over fences. Siberian Huskies are native to Siberia and Malamutes to Alaska, and many people have no knowledge of distinguishing between them. The shape. The exterior and character are somewhat the same, but in size the Malamute is larger and the difference is clear that the Malamute is a large copy of the Siberian Husky, where it can be said that the Malamute is stronger, but the Siberian is faster, and the Malamute has an innate ferocity. More than the Siberian Husky against exotic dogs, and we cannot say that this family is generally for guarding and the two dogs we can trust with children, these dogs have a strong build and hunt dogs and prey on wild cats, birds and squirrels but with training they can be trusted with. Other small animals where they hunt in the summer and then return to the villages when the snow returns and food becomes rarely, however, is the instinct to hunt still present in the breed today. Shetland Shepherd The general appearance of the Shetland Shepherd is a miniature appearance of a rock, and the size of these dogs is from small to medium size, and the Shetland Shepherd is characterized by being graceful and strong and the Shetland may have blue eyes or one blue and the other brown. But most of these dogs have dark eyes, and they love to play in nature and love the family this breed is often very good with children and the Shetland Shepherd keeps their tails down and raised only when alerted, and they are an extremely loyal breed and should not be shy or show. Shyness according to the AKC breed standard. Maltese or Maltese. Maltese dogs were bred to be companion and lovable dogs, and they are small decorative dogs, as they are full of liveliness and fun, and even. With the age of this species, their energy level and their playful behavior remains fairly constant, and some Maltese dogs may be from time to time a danger to young children and supervision must be done. On them while playing although making them social at an early age will reduce. This habit, they also love humans and prefer to stay near them, this breed is very active indoors and prefer closed spaces with small spaces for this reason the breed also breeds well in apartments and homes it is considered one of the pet dog breeds. Poodles Poodles are known as a highly intelligent, lively and social breed that needs physical and intellectual activities. It is noteworthy that this breed's sense of instinctive behavior, in particular, marking and hunting operations can be observed more easily in the poodle than most other breeds. And the poodle also needs reservation with strangers when first introduced but after a while he should gradually get to know strangers as feral behavior is considered a huge mistake in the breed, poodles are highly trainable dogs and usually excel in obedience training, poodles will do. Well in many dog sports including dog agility, volleyball and field tracking, and he can follow the owners on hiking trips or any trip that involves swimming as long as the dog is accustomed to water and swimming. Chihuahua An owner's temperament can make a difference in a puppy's temperament and chihuahuas can easily be provoked to attack and are therefore generally unsuitable for homes with young children. Other animals, and this breed tends to be of a clan nature, and these traits in general make it unsuitable for families with children who are not patient and calm. Beagle The beagle is distinguished by a pleasant temperament and has a very strong sense of smell. It is considered one of the very fast dogs and has a small size. This breed is characterized by many standards of the breed as fun. They are friendly, not aggressive or shy, although this depends on the individual, and the companionship of this breed is enjoyable although they may initially be confrontational to strangers, they are easy to get hold of, and their tendency to bark or shriek when confronted with something makes them good dogs. Terrier and Kern Terrier The beagle is clever but as a result of his upbringing for long pursuits, he is single-minded and determined, which makes him difficult to train. Yorkshire Terrier the ideal Yorkshire Terrier is a very straight carriage. Despite their small size, the Yorkshire Terrier is energetic, inquisitive and fond of interest. It is advised that Yorkshire Terriers would not be suitable in a home with young children etc. They are ideal companions for older families, and Many breeders tend to raise this breed with families with children aged 8 years and over, for the comfort of the dog and the most important reason for the benefit of the child. This breed of dogs is easy to train. Pitbull Pitbull was created by crossbreeding bulldogs and a group of dog breeds together to produce a dog that combines the attractiveness and agility of a dog with the strength of a bulldog. 
In addition, law enforcement organizations indicate that these dogs are used for other purposes, such as guarding illegal drug operations and using them against the police and as attack dogs, and also to chase large animals such as pigs. Fierce, and they are known to be the strongest dogs in the world. When acquiring this breed, they must be trained well. It is not recommended for a person to acquire a dog for the first time to acquire this breed. Border Collie The Border Collie requires great daily physical exercise and mental stimulation. It is an intelligent dog breed and is in fact considered one of the most intelligent dog breeds. Although the primary role of the Border Collie is as a herding dog, this type of breed is becoming increasingly popular as a pet. This breed is very demanding, playful and active, and they are best with families that can provide them with plenty of play and exercise, whether with humans or other dogs, unable to provide for their needs. Golden Retriever Golden Retriever's temperament is the hallmark of a gentle and friendly breed and Golden Retrievers are a good family friend especially if they are patient with children. A form of unjustified aggression or hostility towards any person, dogs or other animals, whether in the show ring or the community. It is considered unacceptable in the Golden Retriever and is not in line with the personality of the breed. The Golden Retriever should not be unjustified shy or nervous, and the Golden Retriever is calm naturally intelligent, with an exceptional desire to please, Golden Retrievers have also been noted for their intelligence. Pusher Al Bag has a wonderful personality and this breed is small in size and Al Bog is a strong-willed dog but it is rarely aggressive, and is suitable. For families with children and the majority of the breed is very fond of children and sturdy enough to play with them properly and depending on the mood of the owners they can become full of liveliness, the bug breed tends to be intuitive and sensitive to their owner's moods and is usually eager to please them. They also tend to have a somewhat lazy nature and spend a lot of time napping, they are called shadows because they follow their companions around them they like to stay close to their owners and they love the attention and affection of their owners. German Shepherd German Shepherds are moderately active dogs and are described in the breed standards as being confident, and the breed is characterized by a willingness to learn and keenness to have a purpose as they are curious which makes them excellent guard dogs and suitable for search tasks. Where they can become overprotective of their families and territories especially if they are not properly socialized and they tend not to become instant friends with strangers, German Shepherds are highly intelligent and obedient and are well trained and German Shepherds are known to be very faithful. Labrador Retriever Labradors have a gentle, fun and open temperament, and the sense of smell of this breed allows them to return to almost any scent it follow. Its path of origin is they keep searching for the scent until they find it, and this breed is used by the Navy, military and police forces as detection dogs to track smugglers, thieves, terrorists and marketers blacks, Labradors also instinctively enjoy holding things in their mouths and can hold. An object very gently e a Labrador can hold an egg in their mouth without breaking it, and they are known to have a very soft sensation in the mouth and are prone to chewing things, although they can be trained to let go of this behavior, this breed can be used for hunting waterfowl. And this breed is very balanced, the Labrador is an excellent family dog and this includes a good reputation with children of all ages and other animals.